Can you manifest without visualization? Is that possible? That's the question we're going to be looking at in this video. And I think the answers may surprise you. So stay tuned. Before we delve into that, please just take a moment, if you haven't subscribed already to my channel, just hit the little subscribe button below. And don't forget that little bell icon as well, because when you hit the bell, it means you get notified when I upload more useful videos like this one. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you've got a question or comment about manifestation, visualization, the law of attraction, anything to do with that, please put it in the comments below. Get the conversation going. Okay, let's look at this question logically. Can you manifest without visualizing? That's our question. So, first of all, let's do a bit of detective work here. Let's be Sherlock Holmes on this issue. So, just take a moment and reflect on all the things that you've got in your life, good things, or things that you've ever received from Christmas presents to surprises to whatever, that you acquired without visualizing them. They just showed up. Now, you might say, well, those things were just luck and, and coincidence, and perhaps they were. I don't know. I have no way of proving that one way or the other. But you know that although, of course, everybody has, you know, steps up and steps down, and, you know, life is a, is a game of snakes and ladders um, for all of us. Nobody goes from A to B to C to D in a straight line all through their life without ever having challenges, setbacks, sad times, bad times. Nobody has that. So we can't say, well, the good things that happened were just coincidence, the bad things were just coincidence. Mean, we can say that if you like, but, but if you want to put everything in that box, then, then that's fine. But the conclusion that led me to, because I looked at that very closely was, well, then everything is just random and I have no control whatsoever over my destiny. That turned out not to be true, at least for me. Again, I can't prove it. This isn't a science documentary. Um, I can only tell you what my experience has been. And I spent 30 years ish studying this stuff and experimenting with it in some depth, to say the least. So visualizing hasn't been, in my experience, responsible for everything that I have. However, let's flip that over. Now, when you're excited about something, let's say you know you're going to get a big Christmas present, something you've, you've said, you know, you've asked your parents or your partner for or whatever, and you know they're going to get it. It's a big treat and you've waited a long time for this thing. Now, the chances are that you will start to use your imagination, aka visualization. You'll start to see yourself with the thing or doing the thing or being at the place if it's a trip somewhere or whatever. You'll start to imagine what it's going to feel like to own it, wear it, have it, eat it, lay in the sun in it, whatever it is you're going to do. You will start to do that. But to say that the visualization caused the thing to come about, is the tail wagging the dog. We start to visualize when we imagine or know that something is coming our way. Visualization kicks in as a byproduct of our excitement. Now, what the law of attraction has been, in a sense, trying to teach us, that the traditional law of attraction uh, teaches, have been kind of saying that this will work in reverse. So if you can generate enough of the excitement, that's the energy, and imagine it vividly enough, then that will cause the manifestation to happen. But I have no experience of that. Maybe you do. Please tell me in the comments if you do. But when well, I say I have no experience of that, occasionally I did visualize things and they did show up eventually. I can't say that that never happened, but neither can I say the visualization was the cause of the manifestation. I can't say that. They were too far apart, or they were too random, and I could never, ever, ever reproduce the effect reliably. 
So if I could do that every time, say, well, you know, at least or even seven or eight times out of ten, it's working, I would say visualization causes manifestation. But I have no experience of that. There is, however, a however. So stick with me and I'll explain how our thoughts can actually become things. Stay right there. All right, let's recap for a moment. What we've established is many things show up or have shown up in life, your life, my life, anyone's life, which has nothing to do with any kind of attempt at deliberate creation or, or visualization. They just manifest, including coincidences and things that we could call good luck. Just the other day, I had a, a check from a bank I'd completely forgotten I ever had anything to do with who said, wrote to me and said, we think we've overcharged you. <coughs> Excuse me. And they sent me a check. I didn't, I wasn't visualizing for it. I can't say that I manifested it, but it showed up anyway, and I'm grateful. Now, so we've established that, and we've also established that, as far as I know, there is no direct correlation between imagining something, no matter how vividly, and it definitely showing up. Sometimes there may seem to be one, one, you do one thing, the visualization and the manifestation occurs, but there are many times when it doesn't. And we know that this, also this can't really be true it, because when you think about, I mean, people have asked this question, there's another video somewhere on this channel as well about the lottery situation. There can only be a limited number of winners. So are the winners the people that are visualizing the hardest or the best? No, I don't think we can say that. There is no evidence of that whatsoever. So, but I did say that there, there is something that we can do. And it's much simpler than trying to visualize. And the joy of it as well is that it's natural and therefore effortless. It's as natural and effortless as, I don't know, blinking or ordering a pizza. If you can order a pizza, you can manifest. <laughs> Don't say you manifested a pizza, because that's not what I mean. So let's take a moment to look at that. Imagine that you're going on a car journey to, to a place you've never been before. By the way, if there's background noise, I apologize. There, there's drilling going on next door. So imagine that you're going on a car journey to somewhere you've never been before. You're the driver and what you have are the coordinates. In, in the UK where I live, the postcode. Or maybe if you're in the States, the zip code or whatever the coordinates are. However you program your GPS or sat-nav system. But you've never been to this place before, right? So you don't know the way. You don't know how it's going to show up. And this is where people trying to manifest stuff trip themselves up because they think they must be able to see all the steps. They must know the way, they must know, well, how was I ever going to show up, right? And that's where we, we trip ourselves up and tr trying to figure out how. You don't need to know how. The sat-nav, the GPS knows how, if you're in your car. The universe, whatever you want to call it, the greater intelligence that makes, I don't know, the grass grow and worlds spin and galaxies turn on their axis and makes my fingernails grow when I've no idea how they do that. All that stuff knows, right? So what you do, you don't need the visualization. You just need the intention. It's like, that's where I'm going. Now, what m most people do, many people do, and I think I did probably for a long time, was because I couldn't see how I was going to get there, I would just stop visualizing it, stop imagining it, stop thinking about it. Visualization doesn't matter. But I would stop having the intentions that, oh, that's never going to happen. So, oh, well, same old, same old. And you carry on with your life as if everything was just going to stay the same. And of course, things change because time changes things and there are a bazillion moving parts on this earth of ours, right? But that's what the problem is. 
not that you can't visualize it, but because you can't, you think that you have to control every step of the way, right? Well, how's that ever going to show? How's that money or the car or the lover or the house or the holiday or whatever it is you want? How could that possibly show up when I'm in this situation? Right? I don't know. And neither do you. But when you get in your car and program the, the GPS system, the sat-nav, to go to the destination that you want to get to, all you have to do is drive and follow the instructions. And what most of us don't do in the manifestation process is drive. We just sit in the car thinking, well, unless you show me every step along the, this journey, every single turn and twist, I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. And that's what happens. That's how we thwart ourselves in the manifestation process. Now, I can't explain this in depth in a short video. People will start clicking off. It's like, oh, you know, it's time for the football. Or I know what happens on videos. But I do have a free report called Manifesting Abundance Effortlessly. I think that's what it's called. It'll appear on the screen here in a minute. And there'll be a link to it. There should be one up there, I think. And there should be, and there will be definitely, a link uh, in the description below. So it's free. Just go and, and, and get it and read it. It's not very long, but there's three steps. Um, nothing to do with visualization. Effortless manifesting. If this is a law of the universe, which it is, incidentally, then like all laws, it has to work reliably every time, like gravity. If gravity didn't work reliably, sometimes we'd wake up in the morning and find ourselves floating around on the ceiling in the bedroom. And that doesn't happen because gravity is 100% reliable. And so is this law. The fact that visualization I, I mean, I've got a video on visualization on this channel. It gets hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of views, which I'm grateful for. I'm you know, thankful for the for people being interested in, in what I'm teaching. But the questions, if you look at the comments on there, a lot of the questions are, am I doing it wrong? Why isn't it working for me? They don't say it quite like that, but there's lots of variations on that theme. And that's because there's still a belief that visual, if I can get the visualization right, it will cause manifestation to happen. And that's not going to happen. Visualization does not cause, um, cause manifesting. And actually, think about that, that's a good thing. Because quite often we imagine disaster movies in our head. Imagine if those manifested. Right? So thankfully it doesn't work that way. Oh, what a relief. So, go and grab my free report. Abundance manifest, manifesting abundance effort, effortlessly. I can't remember which order those three words are in. <laughs> Silly, I wrote the thing. Um, and and have a read of that. Um, I think you'll find that's extremely enlightening and not like anything law of attraction wise that you've heard before. So I'm Trevor Emden, uh, aka the Wizard of Wisdom, uh, and I'm very grateful that you watched. Please keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the link. Uh, in the in the description below or somewhere up on the screen here whichever side it is uh, as well and um, you'll get uh, you'll get to that page you can download that free report manifesting is as easy as ordering pizza thanks very much I'll see you there